Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Norse Rebirth for Crusader Kings 2. So, where we left off last, our guy died. Now we're Filker Dan. <laughs> That's our name, it's just Filker Dan. Um, it's Dan Torbranson, Frill, but it's just Filker Dan. Um, we're stressed out, surprisingly, because we are the Emperor of the last bastion of the Norse faith. Um, we have a few pop-ups. There's a little bit up there going on. First off, let's get our council in order. Mm. Despite the fact that this guy's better at diplomacy, I think we're going to go ahead and give it to one of the dukes that wants to be chancellor. Simply because we need his opinion. This is the Jarl of Brunswick. Which, um... Brunswick is the new duchy down here, so we don't really need him to like us. He's not very powerful, but... Yeah, I think we do. I think we make him the new guy. Okay, so that fills that one. Um, next up, we also have mostly unlanded characters. This is what happens when you inherit or start to play as somebody who was already landed. They have a council full of crappy characters. Except this guy's actually pretty good. Steward will go with the Mayor of Gotland. We'll definitely take a count here. This guy's ambitious, but he does like us. This will make him a door supply master. And the Seer's acceptable, although this one would be superior, so we'll switch to her. Let's go back to proselytizing. Norse is uh, pretty solid. Let's get rid of that Catholic little bit up there. We'll collect taxes in the capital. We will scheme nowhere yet, because we might want to incentivize somebody to stop factioning. Alright, so next up, um, one of the big real opinion problems that we have right now is the uh, harsh feudal tax. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. I'm going to go all the way down to none. That'll give us 30 opinion with everyone. The other thing that we definitely want to do right away is, ideally, capture a duke and throw him in prison and then let him go for plus 15 with everyone. No dukes available. Let's go with the count. Mr. Countman. We will now release you for plus 10. If I could uh, fix that, again, we've talked about it before, but I would make it so either you can't do that, you can't just imprison people that aren't your direct vassal, or I would make it so that, um, I don't know, make it make it so that that character becomes a uh, an enemy or a rival because you've tried to imprison them, and then they will try to plot against you more or something. I don't know. There needs to be a negative consequence for it. There is no negative consequence. It's kind of silly. Queen of Norway, currently a little bit pissy with us. Apparently we called her into a war before we took over. One of the other main problems we have is the elector titles held. And the issue there is that we own the Kingdom of Sweden as well as the Kingdom of Finland. Remember with my son, I gave the Kingdom of Finland and then he just inherited the Kingdom of Sweden and the Emperor, Empire of Scandinavia. So we're going to go ahead and give away Scan uh, Finland again. Preferably to a family member. Um, we have children. We could give it to our son, but he's a bit young. I'd like to keep educating him. Instead, why don't we... Um, well, let's, let's check out who we can nominate. Sort by Dynasty. We're looking for anyone of House Frill. That has good traits. You got a leper. Torolf is a, is a bit of a leper. That's kind of gross. Looks like we're going to probably end up going with... Um, ooh, this guy's got pneumonia. That sounds unfortunate. We've got the paranoid twin. So we have the paranoid twin and the mnemonic. Mnemonic. Mnemonic? Mnemonic. This guy's gregarious and kind. He's craven. But, yeah, I think we go for him for now. Until we have a, a son that's full age. We're over our domain limit. That's fine. We're going to get rid of this territory anyway. So if that's the guy that we want, then we're going to go ahead and grant him the kingdom of Finland. So we need to find... what is this? Ost... Ost... Carolin. So will give you that. And then just take Dijor, Finland. We did just lose our marshal. No, we didn't. Why did it just say that we lost him when we didn't? Oh well, that should take away the elector titles held penalty. We have a count, my cousin, direct cousin, direct vassal. He should be under the Duchy of Sejaland, which is part of... Denmark, which we have not yet created yet. Cannot usurp the sole primary title off a ruler of another religion who still holds lands within it. So we can't take it from him. 
The duchy, we could take, but it's kind of tiny. I think we just give the guy the city. Make him like us. It's a pretty reasonable request. Okay. High Cheetus wants control of another city that I've built. It's shocking that they want their cities, right? Just making sure it's always the right one. Vretta is what she wants. See, it's not always the right one. Now she's happy. And the rest of these people who are upset are probably just upset mostly due to the short rain penalty. We'll go ahead and give away the other cities. I, I really don't care about them that much. Torsaker. Queen is now at 23. We got rid of the minus 15 for Elector titles held. The Vassal King is going to be there, but we've got ma we got marriage ties at the bottom to offset that. And then also, look at that, we got Liege is kind, Liege is just, Liege is brave, Liege is diligent. <laughs> We're pretty awesome. We only have a thousand prestige, we can get another ten opinion from prestige. We have only one concubine, who's provided us with zero children. So let's just get rid of her. And see if we can take a couple new ones that maybe we can get a few more sons with. Oh hey, we got the Duchess of Saxony. She's a zealous Catholic. Sure. Sounds fun. There's 75 prestige. We've also got a uh, prisoner here. She's worth 50. Sure. Just take all these prisoners. Heir to the barony. Hmm. She's a, an ambitious spy mastery type person. I don't really trust her. We'll take, um... Is this the one that I was just with? Maybe it is. No, it's not. We'll take her, though. Alright, so we just gained a little bit of prestige from that. We'll go back up to speed 4. And, uh... We should invest in new technology, really. Did our capital get moved? No, capital's still in Upland. Cool, new technology is fun. Military organization, awesome. So we inherited his military points. That's another good, good reason to land your your primary heir. Good, good. So we'll do military organization that, which should give us quite a bit more available rights new cap. I mean, by quite a bit more, I mean like four. Boo. We have a daughter that needs an education. <laughs> There's a lot to, to manage here. We'll give her to the Queen of Norway so she likes us. We have a half-sister. We'll also give her to someone that we need opinion with. And we've got our nephew. He's probably not going to be worth any opinions. We'll train him up as a military man. Can you usurp the Duchy of Estonia? That sounds fine. That'll give us a tiny little bit of prestige. We'll do it. We've got two direct vassals that both desire... The duchy? Well, this one does, this one doesn't. Because he's a kid. Give it to the 58-year-old? No, we give it to the child because the child will likely live a longer life. And therefore we get the benefit of the granted tidy, uh, granted title bonus for much, much longer. Of course, until our character dies. Okay, dangerous factions. Lower crown authority in Scandinavia. Mostly led by the queen. Uh, we still haven't given out any honorary titles. We'll give her that one. We can also bribe her for a minor 140 ducats, taking her back up to 100. Finally, we've got this chief who is upset about mostly harsh feudal tax. We'll give him some money too. And the rest will be taken care of by the lowered taxes. Okay. We can righteously imprison this guy. He's the leader of a plot, my cousin. Any particular reason why we want him to stop doing that? He is our direct vassal, so he could rebel. Let's just politely ask him to stop. Oh, he won't. Here's some money. Now stop. And we need to nominate someone for the Kingdom of Sweden. So we'll nominate the same guy. Which was the first twin. Are we not able to nominate him? for some strange reason. Oh, there he is, King of Finland. Yes, that's right, we landed him. Okay, almost done with all this stuff. We can create the Kingdom of Pomerania. Kind of tempted to do that, actually. A little bit more prestige would be great. And it also just makes it easier to manage all this. Um, we still need to create the Duchy of Pomerania and the Duchy of Welligrad. But, uh, yeah, let's do both. We'll create the Duchy... Create this duchy, create the kingdom. And, uh, who do we like here? The kinslaying man? Let's go with the 23 year old content guy. Congratulations, you're the king of Pomerania, including lower titles. Go. 
Okay, so that takes us above 2,000 prestige. Lowest opinion vassals at neg as a positive 18. Short rain penalty will go away. I think we're pretty stable again. Let's combine the armies. I don't know. There, sure. And then we'll begin my new plan. It took like 12 minutes, 10 minutes to do that. Sorry, but you know, a little bit of a little bit of vassal management and stuff going on. Got a lustful brave girl. Taxes are now exempt. Lowest opinions at 48. And we've taken a new lover. So everyone's pretty happy. 22 prisoners. A little bit of money that we can get from ransoms. She's still in the faction. Now she's gone. Okay, the faction's dead. Take this army and disband everything except for the retinue and um, yeah, so this character never, actually our previous character never declared a great holy war either. But now we're going to do my plan, which is Holy Roman Emperor has 19,000 men. We have like 15,000 retinue. Let's let the levy replenish and then once we have the levy, we're going to do our great holy war in the most exploity of ways possible. <laughs> in fact, we already um, have some of the land occupied, so let's just keep harassing him. It's only hostile for another 130 days. That's sufficient. Nice tithe. Cool. Why don't we, in fact, just grab some boats and we'll use them to ferry over the remaining troops. Rather than risk them walking by somebody dangerous. And unflag one of these armies. Unflag one of those. And then just to make sure that it's doing it the way that I want, we're going to tell the armies that are not raiders to go away. Let a little bit of time tick. And then tell them to go back. Just being cautious. Naturally, he's going to re-raise and be all pissed off about this. If I really wanted to punish the Holy Roman Emperor, we could just occupy his land in a non-war. And as long as we keep raiders in his territory, it would never end. We could have the entirety of the Holy Roman Empire occupied. All of it. And just have him have no income, no levy. For the rest of the game. Just to mess with him. Okay, he is uh, quite aggressively coming at us. Let's make sure that we have some commanders in charge or something. Now he appears to be going around. We might not have enough men to actually do this without actually raising the levy. Yeah, we'll just wait. We'll, we'll keep. The, I want to keep the occupations, so we'll keep harassing him at least once every six months, but... I don't want to try to to really worry about sieging stuff right now. Let's go get some kills. Keep him flagged as looters just so that we keep that, that war going. Oh wow. What's going on here? Oh, there's, oh, that's a holy order. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You raise a holy order to deal with my raid? Can we get to here? May 11th. He's not chasing us. It's very nice of him. Just let us go. Let's see if just walking into his territory resets it. Yeah, it did. Look at that. Every tick. Every time it ticks, it resets the timer. Okay, our levy's still 10k. It's going to take a while. He seems to have disbanded his men again. Oh, that's right. You know what? I remember now. We were going to assault. Assaulting was far more effective. But yeah, that is definitely... Look at that. 2,000 heavy cav. It's a lot.
Well, we certainly need the retinue to be up to full strength. It's going to cost some time and money. The levy is still quite depleted. Hold the whole stack in one spot. And this is what? Very little heavy cav. Okay, let's see if maybe we have better commanders. Aggressive leader guy in the center. You do still have a flat terrain expert. Carl. Carl! His name is Carl. I guess the trickster? I don't know. Without the heavy cavalry, they don't do nearly as well. Not bad. Um, we're reinforcing, yes? Okay. Why is that levy not growing? It needs to grow! Alright, and the darn heavy cavalry is showing up. Oh goodness, there's lots of pop-ups. What do you want? You will release Carl. Well, we'll pay 10 ducats for Carl. Yeah. We like Carl. Carl's a flat train expert. Okay, we just finished a couple more cities. Our realm is prospering. Making sure that we've got that hostility with uh, the Holy Roman Emperor. We go down to here and harass him in Baloney. Baloney land! This is where they make Baloney. We have the second Catholic uprising against us. Way up there. That's fun. We are supposed to nominate somebody else. What happened? to our heir. King of Finland died. My nephew now has Finland. That sucks. So he died in battle. Well, shoot. Is our son eligible? Is he, he going to be a good heir? He's being educated by our marshal. We should educate him ourselves. We can do far better than he, he can. Almost positive. And then, yeah, I guess we'll just nominate our son. I mean, he's 12. We'll probably have time to, to get him in line. If we were to die, it'd be a pretty tough succession, but pretty sure they'll vote for him. We're so darn diplomatic. They are voting for him, yes. Good. Oh, it's so annoying when you have an army that's not flagged as raiders and you're in hostile territory. So what are we going to do about this guy? Oh gosh, he's so far away. I don't want to mess with him. It's going to take forever to get up there. Improved our intrigue slightly. Very good. It's time to leave, I think. Perhaps we will keep a very small army down here. Just something to flag the hostility. Here, we'll leave behind one single retinue. And why don't we also leave behind some boats? Send the retinue up. should be plenty to keep things going. We have a daughter. Well, we need sons, please. Alright, well, um, not too much actually happened in this video aside from managing the realm, but for some people that's really beneficial to see, so that's good. Um, my grand plan will come to fruition eventually when the damn levy gets replenished, whenever that happens. I mean, we don't have it raised, so it's just a matter of time, but we'll see. I'll take a break here. I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. See you in a bit.